Okay. Um, finally, back to being able to record Shield tablet gameplay. Um, I kept having issues with the uh, share features breaking. But I found out from someone else it is due to uh, Clean Master killing or uh, breaking the share features when you clean out the device. So, yeah. This is a touch-only game. I like to proceed. No. Okay. Try to download a profile. Trigger break. Okay. So we're good there. Okay. Oh, I think there's some changes I need to make to that profile to make it better for me. Like this. For that. Okay. Now, we will play the game. And, uh, yeah. So everything's working a lot better. Uh, I decided to try to take other people's suggestions, even though I wasn't before, about uh, task killers and all that stuff. Uh, even though I was kind of stubborn, I'm going to give it a shot, so... Yeah, I'll see how the performance is if I don't actually use task killers. As much as as hard as it is for me not to. Yeah. Where am I going here? You're now ready to go. Tap something. Okay, cool. So this game maps very well to a controller uh, using the mapping tool. Although I still always wish they would have native controller support. Hey, come on. Three, two, one, go. Also, with native controller support, if you uh, plug into the TV with console mode, the uh, resolution changes, which makes the gamepad mapper uh, have just not work properly because the uh, buttons on the screen change place and then it uh, presses the wrong stuff and stuff yeah that made any sense it didn't make sense to me but whatever get the hell off me Love Ridge Racer though ever since it came out first time I played it was on the Playstation 1 and I loved it on the Playstation 1 and I know it's a kind of a mixed bag for me people, but I love it. I remember being amazed at the graphics on the PS1 with uh, Ridge Racer, the first one. Never played the arcade one. Uh, been wanting to, but too lazy to set it up in an emulator. <coughs> oh, sure. Pass me, asshole. To kick that guy in the cunt. Hey, what's that? Really like the one on the PSP, that's like my favorite one. Eh. 
and that's fully playable on this, in uh, the same, at the native resolution of the tablet. In fact, just about every game I play is playable at the native resolution of this tablet. So that's cool. Oh, and also, hopefully, I'll be getting a new tablet, a 10-inch tablet that's not so much of a premium-style tablet. It's not really a premium tablet, I wouldn't consider it, just for all the bad build quality issue stuff, but it's um, a Chinese uh, tablet, so. But it's got very good reviews, and it's a dual boot Windows Android tablet. It's um, on the V919, I believe. Um, Honda has been around for a while making kind of budget devices anywhere from mp3 players to tablets. I used to be like addicted to purchasing their mp3 players. So I have a stack of freaking uh, cheap Chinese mp3 players. Some of them were theirs and some of them were other people's. But uh, yeah. But uh, they kind of suck. <laughs> But the tablet looks really good. The tablet has the same uh, screen as the the iPad Air one, and it, um, what was I gonna say? Other than being Android and uh, and Windows, dual booting. Um, it was a choice between that one and another one by a company called Tech Glass. I don't remember the model number of that tablet, but that one's fairly big. It seems like people mostly prefer that one, but I wanted Android, and apparently the one, the Android build on um, the Tech Class is broken, and um, I didn't want to fuck with that and bother with it, and uh, something else, some other shit, but that, there's some few things that made me choose the, the Onda tablet over, uh, the tech class and it's very cheap for a 10 inch tablet with a uh, uh, the same screen as uh, the iPad Air huh and it was basically like an iPad Air clone but uh, of course with Android and all that you look it up it's actually really cool I thought it was really cool uh, just because of the dual booting thing. You want my money? How about you go fuck yourself? Suck my prick. Anyways, go back here. And just race. Instead of being nickel and dimed by in app purchases. Okay. Industrial drive. Hmm. Analog is drifting a bit there. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Okay, so here we go. Here we go, go, go! You're in third place. Yeah, that's great. Now I'm in first place. How long I'll be there? I don't know. This works really well, by the way. I think I've already said that, but yeah, it does work really well even with the touchscreen map. It's just when you have the native control mapping, if you want to plug it into the TV, um, the controls will work properly. But uh, with this, no. Yeah. Oh shit, fuck. Well, so far everything's been working fine without the task killers and the, uh, the clean masters and all that. It's been working a lot better. Uh, yeah. Hopefully that stays that way. Maybe I was just killing the wrong tasks randomly and having problems with them. I can only stop being 
obsessed with uh, keeping things coming back or whatever. Give a shit. Uh, Ridge Racer Crickets. That's funny, I had the Vita version, and honestly, I like this one better. It has more content than the Vita version. The only thing is, of course, the in app purchase bullshit, but. Even though the graphics are better on the Vita version, the Vita version was bare bones and it sucked. <laughs> well, it was fun to play, but um, the content was really black. Even the one on the 3DS was definitely better. It was actually good, too. Really good. I used the new 3DS recently. I don't know, that the eye tracking didn't seem to work very well for me. Uh, I don't know, I only used it for one game, but just the eye tracking kept losing track and uh, it was making this weird ghosting effect on the screen and I just really didn't care for it. I was going to buy it, but, you know, not if it's not going to fix the 3D issue. Um, I think I'd rather get one cheap because the game's really good, but I actually really like the 3D idea. And somebody's calling me, but they're going to have to wait. You know that works. Whenever you're doing a video, somebody has to call you. I think. I'll have to beat this race first. Then I'll finish the video and call the person back. Ooh, so I'm just using the built- Oh, I showed it to you. So it's the built-in game map. I normally use Tim Core. But I've kind of been trying to stick with easy to map games and just, you know, use a built-in key mapper. Nothing too complicated to map, and it's easy. I can just download simple profiles. And... But mostly play games that um, have uh, native controller support. Because those just work well. La la la, come on, let's go. I'm in first place, nobody's catching up. You might as well just give me first place fucking now! God damn it. Or something. Alright. Give me first place. These people suck. Okay, anyways, there, there's that. Um, so, I win. As per usual! No. Uh, okay, so that's the end of the video, and I, I really wanted to just try out the uh, the shadow play feature on a tablet once more. Finally, I can use it. Um, it's one of the main reasons I purchased this tablet. Uh, I like the share features, and I thought they were really cool, and I wanted to use them, and they didn't work. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Thank you for watching.